Hello, YouTube world. This is Alex, the gaming teacher, and welcome back to my walkthrough of Pokemon Ruby version. As you're watching this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Okay, so we just passed the city where the next gym's at, but can't get there yet. Well, there's gonna be a couple trainers here too. Don't know who I wanted to send out, but uh, yeah. I'll just put Marsh Top, I believe. And let's see. Because basically, if you try going in the gym, there's like an invisible Pokemon. And uh, yeah, it's so hard to get rid of it. We're about to encounter, and we're about to get the item that allows us to do it. So it's kind of like actually in Generation 1, where we have a thing called Sylph Scope that allowed us to see the ghost type Pokemon. Let's see, let's just put. Nah. We should put Shifri out to see here. Yeah, self scope. So that's kind of like what we have here. It's called the Devon scope. It's specifically for this one Pokemon, but it's not an item that you will really be using that much, anyways. So yeah, I wasn't sure what I wanted to use. I mean, Shifri. I know I could probably also save for the big water routes, but no. I guess this is the water type, so basically any time we see that I can use it. I just won't put it in the lead, so it's not like I'm going to tend to level it up. But, uh, well, by all means, I'll definitely consider that. Okay. So I know we got a Tentacruel that I would definitely would put in the party, but... And you know, I said I was going to switch it out when we, uh fight gym leaders, but honestly, I think, you know, the thing is when I lost to Norman, yeah, that seemed like a little rough and all, but let's see, um, let me put Laron out here, but the thing is, I creamed, I mean, yeah, I pretty much creamed him the second time, and, you know, he's probably gotta be the toughest gym leader, I would say, if you're not prepared, so, uh, you know, also if you're not underleveled. So I don't think I'm going to be in any trouble at all with this next one. Because I know she's got four flying types. One of them is water flying. One of them is steel flying. One of them is just straight up normal flying. And then the last one I think is a dragon flying type. So... Now we'll see. Okay, so Laron gained the level there. Uh, facts, let me see. Yeah, so these trainers here, I've seen them for the third time. Um, and let's just say, you actually could keep seeing them forever. But they will keep popping up, you just gotta go back to the first time you saw them, which was east of Marvel City. I think this next one's a bird trainer, so I'm gonna use a lair on here. And then that's it. After that, I mean, we're gonna get the item that allows us to, uh... So that's actually one thing, is we don't actually have to fight the gym leader right away. However, she did get, a. Uh, we did recently get the HM for Fly. And in order to use it, we have to defeat that gym leader, so... That's definitely something essential. I believe we could already teach Fly to, uh, Vibrava. Okay, so that's all it was. It was a Swablu. Yeah. Alright, so I think... I'm gonna switch back to Marsh Tom because... So let's see here. There's Steven. You can even see the shadow. There's like something right next to me. But, um, 
don't really have to fight this Pokemon. Could run away. But I don't know. See how much experience you get from it. Okay. So let's see here. Strategy wise. Start with the mud shot. And low 30, so. I think its biggest strengths are probably attack and special defense. I think its special defense is pretty good. But, uh. Yeah, I'm not sure. Just one of those unique Pokemon, you know, with its ability. Otherwise, nothing much. Okay, so 565, yeah, I think I'll continue to fight. Yeah, so we obtain that. I think there's only maybe like a four, five more spots. We'll see one. But what I'm gonna do here is let's use a repel. I know there's some items here, so revive. Might as well check this one. That's it. Okay. But I know this one here I believe is gonna attack us. Now, I know there's one that was to the left of the Fortree City. I don't know if that one's gonna attack us too though, because I'm like, there's gotta be a reason why it would be there. Maybe there's like a item that's behind it. I just realized when I used Mud Shot, I don't know why I used Water Gun, I could've used Ice Beam as well. Stronger attack, still super effective. Alrighty, there we go. Uh, no, let me get this first. No, it's just a nest ball. Honestly, what the heck is... I think it's mainly for... Um, okay. <laughs> Better on weaker Pokemon. Not sure what that means, like I guess the lower level they are. So this place here... Very tiny place, Scorch Slab. And it's just the home of the TM Sunny Day. I don't know if there is any wild Pokemon in that area, but I mean, the water there might be. But all right, so again, we could continue if we want, but I did get our candy up there, I think, right? So we'll just leave it like that. Let's see, in this city here, I believe these people sell like decoration items. It's like this one has chairs, the other one has desks. No need to talk to them. I mean, you know, if I did want to decorate, I guess I could do that towards the end, but. Alright, nothing here. Pokemon looked like it was massaging the trainer's back or something, I don't know. Before I go, I don't want to forget... Oh, okay, I got some super repels here. I just, uh... Wasn't sure. Actually, let's go... I know the one from the gym will run away, but... Let's see about this one here. Oh, it does attack, okay. Then I would imagine there's an item where it's standing, but if not, then oh well. Guess we'll know that. Yeah, if they catch it though, fan attack and sibing. Two decent moves there. And Ooh. I did see it in a couple gems though, alright, we saw it in the... Or wait... 
Oh no, I think we only saw it in the Flannery's gym, the fire type one. Yeah, I know we can learn flamethrower though, so... This thing about normal types is pretty odd, but I guess they can learn a bunch of different TMs, like, you know, flamethrower, thunderbolt, such. But alright, Marshtomp is one level away. And... Alright, uh... The issue I have right now is I'm using my laptop as a stopwatch here, so I don't know how much time is going by, but... Yeah, okay, I thought so. There's like nothing here. But oh well. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and heal though. Although... I feel like I probably don't even have to because... I think there's actually only four trainers, so that's pretty odd, but... That last gym... You know, as brutal as the gym leader was, the gym trainers were also brutal. And there were seven total of them. So, so far that has to be the most we've seen in the gym, and now here they just backtrack. I think there's only four. So maybe they just kind of take it down a notch. So Winona, bird user, I think we're ready to go. We got electric type. Yep, so once again, pointless to even talk to them. Didn't say anything about like, oh, what's good against flying, but we already know electric, rock type. I think we'll start off with Laron here. I kind of enjoy this gym as far as like trying to get through it because it's like, makes you think with these rotating doors. I was thinking about that for the gym, so okay, first one, of course, no obstacles. The second one, well, it's dark, so it's not really much there. The third one was somewhat, but pretty minor, though. It's like there's only like three switches to step on, I believe. Uh, the fourth one, yeah, that one was a little puzzling. The fifth one was nothing. This one, though, definitely is. And then the last two also are pretty cool. Making you have to think. So, let's see those later on. Alright, though. Yeah, this is definitely not gonna be like the other gym, because so far, you know, again, they have one Pokemon, but it's not like they're nowhere near as strong as. Think about the levels, too. It's like the last gym. Everyone was at level 27. But here, uh, level 30s. Doduo, Swablu, it's nothing. Okay. So there we go. And we got this trainer here. No need for her to deal with me. Wait a second, isn't this. Wasn't that the exact same line that that one trainer, uh, you know, the gym of Misty in Generation 1 said the same thing? Or, I don't know. S I, maybe something similar. Says something like, you know, I'm plenty good enough for you, Misty can wait, something like that. Uh, maybe I'm thinking something else. Alright, the Swallow. Ow, oh, snap. Should probably use something else. Eh, okay. I'm always trying to be aware, is it going to use Endeavor? I don't know if we saw it, I can't remember already, but... It's a frightening move, even though it's not like... You know, it just kind of depends. So it's like, when it comes to Swallows, you definitely want to get them out of there immediately. But yeah, I believe this is the last trainer. Honestly, so I don't have to go through that again. I'm just going to probably heal later on. Because let's see here. Dang it, I had a feeling he had a Wingle. Uh, well, let's just try Rock to him again. 
and we'll see. If it's another Wingle, then I'll switch out. Oh, Pelipper. That's actually going to be one of the gym leaders, Pokemon. Interesting. So now there will only be two new ones that we'll see. But again, one of them is from Generation 2. Which I don't know if I said it, but yeah. One's going to be from Generation 2. Pelipper's one of them. Another one we've already seen. But the last one, we have not. But we have seen, you know, it's pre-evolved form, though. Which, you know, I'll just say it's Swablu, so it's the evolved form of Swablu. Pretty strong, though. Oh my gosh, there it is. The thing is, yeah, when it's full health, though, it's not that bad. Especially if their HPs aren't far from each other. Alright, well, let's see. Yeah, I gained a level, that's cool. Thinking... Hmm. I think if I want to, uh... Do I have a potion? No, just that. Alright, then you know what? What the heck? We'll just use... Yeah. It's like, how often am I going to use Oran Berries now? I think we can let it 2 HP off there. Problem is, I don't know who it starts with. So you know what? I'm just going to go with the bait here. Because what I want is the Dragon Flying type. That's going to be all Marsh Tomp. Pelipper, I already mentioned it. That's going to be totally Manetric. The, uh... Oh, snap. The other one's still in Flying, so I think, actually... Maybe I should have Manetric take on that one instead. It would be much easier that way. Yeah. Laron will take on... Yeah, so we'll see. I just don't know who it starts with, though, so let's... Oh, wait. No, I messed this up. Let's see here. Want that? Like that? Uh... Let me see here. Oh, snap. Uh, dang it. Now I got mixed up. I think what we want to do is, yeah, do that. Walk around like this. There we go. That that there and we're ready to roll okay good we can still stand just stand on these logs here yep sorry wait a second I need to give it uh, Eric on here an item is there anything I could give it I remember there was like the one item I had called the King's Rock and thinking I should give that a try. Eh, there's nothing I have here. Oh well. Winona. You know, I think I actually did lose to her the very first time I played this game, but... Because I believe, like, our strongest one has, like, Earthquake. Crazy, a bird that can learn Earthquake. Well, Zigzagoon, yep. No hard feelings there, but yeah. Okay, I guess I could have guessed Swallow is what it started with. And I think... Oh wow, the Quick Claw came into play. I'm afraid though it's going to use Endeavor though, and oh boy. Well, let's see. Okay, well, still might use Endeavor. I feel like that's what it has. Uh, so we gotta use headbutt then. Oh snap. Well, alright, that's fine. Go ahead and use your hyper potions on it. Well now if it uses Wow, quick claw came again. Alright, well that one did slightly more damage. Going with the double team again, huh? I wonder if I should... I don't think she's going to use another Hyper Potion. Oh my gosh, so there it goes. The thing is, I wonder what it's... Okay, didn't matter. 
but I think its other moves are probably, yeah, it had quick attack, and I think it has what's called Aerial Ace. That's the team we're going to get from this fight. Alright, there it is, Altaria. Pretty cool looking name. That's the Dragon Flying type, so we are... Yeah, I think she's trying to send it out because it has Earthquake. And we're going to get it out of there. Level 33. So, it's a Dragon Flying type, so Q for that. Ice moves are like the best you could use. It's the only one, you know, because when it comes to dragon, only ice or dragons super effective against it. So yeah, it's literally got no chance. It's probably going to use another potion, so... Oh, he didn't. Oh boy, though, she... Yeah, okay, that's cool. Cause, I mean, I don't think its attack is that great. So, I think the issue that I had when I played this game for the first time is maybe I just was underleveled. I don't know. Like, maybe I avoided, tried not to fight all the trainers, but once that's out of the way... Oh no, I wasn't going to use... Oh, fudger. I was going to use Vibrava instead. Ah. Well, let's just give this one no chance. Could have used Spark, it probably would have still took it out, but... Well... Make things a little interesting here and see Vibrava if you can do it. It's gonna be a pain though because literally every move we have I think is ineffective against so Skarmory here. It's a generation two Pokemon. Yep. I don't know. I think though if we go with Yeah, it, it's not gonna stand a chance. Uh, oh well. Because if I use Pel if I use it against the Pelipper, it may have a sort of chance. You know, Steel Wing, it is a Steel type itself. Yeah. Oh well. Now, pretty much that's good it got. And if. Yeah, send out Manetric against it. Well, Steel's bad against Electric types. We'll just go with it then. Let's end this battle right now. In fact, let's go with Spark. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, did think did make things interesting? Nah, I always had the upper hand. Basically, you know, you could use Metatrack Chick against everyone except, you know, the Altaria. Yeah, you probably wouldn't want to because it has the Earthquake. So, Nectric and Aura and Marsh Tomp. Again, those could have been the only two I used. But everyone will be needed for the Elite Four, so let's not just ignore them. Um, let's see. Aerial Ace is another one of those, like, Swift-type moves. Swift and Faint Attack. Alright, um... I don't know who I'm gonna teach it to. Let's go ahead and teach Fly, though. And... Oh! Uh, you know what? Its attack is better, I believe, so... We got to see what Crunch looks like. Because I think we're going to teach it Dragon Claw. Oh, dang. I think, though, it may be effective. We counter, like, ghost types. And you know what? Mm. This might not be the best decision, but... You know, Secret Power, we could always buy it again anyways. I'll just take out Secret Power. Because what I know is that there's going to be a move called Dragon Claw that I'm going to teach it that will replace Dragon Breath. And then Flamethrower is going to be the last one. So I'll just say that will replace Crunch. Alright though, that takes care of this gem. Yep. So unlike Generation 1, we don't ever see our 
rifles names, right? I mean, I don't think there's anybody else trying to get all the gym badges. But alright, though, we have the ability to fly back anywhere now, so, uh... I don't think I need to do that, though. I think we're ready to rock... You know, <laughs> yeah, rock and roll, just move on. Now, I said, actually, there was going to be a, uh, only two more encounters with Team Magma. There actually is going to be a third one. You know, the first of the last three will be coming up soon, actually. So... I believe this next area, though, there's one nice thing about Generation 3 is that they have the weather effects. Some areas will be rainy. Uh, I believe I'm gonna want to use Manetric just because. Oh wait, no. This is a bird trainer. Then I'll use later on. That's pretty cool. Just the feeling that it's raining during battle instead of like somebody just using Rain Dance. Oh, it's another two. No worries. Psychic flying type. They definitely make it look smaller than they did in Generation 2. It's like trying to make it take up much of the screen. And again, I don't know if this is a bird that just has one foot. That would look a little bit creepy. If I actually saw it like that. Oh my gosh, swallow again. Do I dare? Might as well. I've seen plenty of swallows lately. Ah, jeez. That's all it's gonna go with is double team, and then... I know it's gonna hit me with that endeavor. The good thing is, you know, as long as... Ah, oh, dang, okay. As long as you take it out in one hit... Then basically, you know, Endeavor, if I did use it, well, my HP would only went down a little bit. Okay, I think now this next trainer... It's one of these two that they have a very strong Pokemon, which we'll see in the very last gym. Nope, it's not this one. I think it's gonna be the other one. Because it's supposed to be a cool trainer. Oh, but this is the the Pokemon that we didn't get at the weather place, the weather institute. But this is the special ability it has. So, like, if it's raining, it turns into a water type. It's like, oh, thank you very much. I gladly will deliver a Thunderbolt to you. Because it's usually a normal type, but yeah, if it's sunny, it turns into a fire. If it's hailing, it turns into an ice type. We'll see the move Hail later on, pretty, I would believe. The Elite Four. Alright, I saw there's a Ninja Boy up there. Oh my goodness, I just... But yeah, do not want to mess around with this one, because the thing is, if it's raining, water moves get stronger. And I want to say... That this Militic... Or is it Militich? I think it was like Serbian, I don't know. It almost looks like the Meritich that's one of former basketball player used to play for my favorite team, Chicago Bulls. But I want to say that it has the move Surf, so we'll find out because this might not take it out in one hit. Yep. Okay, it's Water Pulse, but yeah, still. It's annoying thing about Water Pulse. Yeah, you get confused from it. Um, you know, there's really no reason for me to use that flute, because then, yeah, we're just going to have to take the chances of, hope we don't get hurt in confusion, and of course we did. Alright, well, that's how quickly, uh, it's going to be out there. I think, though, best option now, of course, is go with shift re. I could have used Marsh Tom, but no. Let's see here. 
Mm, yeah, bullet seed. Because I know it also has to move for cover. Did that take it out? Oh, man. Did... Well. Okay, so I didn't get confused. Oh, no, though. She probably has a freaking hyper potion, I bet. All right, this is what we need to do then. Dang it. I should have just, uh... The good thing is it's a forest door, so... If I paralyzed it before, that would have been healed. Um... I think nature power is going to just be swift. Yeah. This can get annoying, though. I'm just gonna use secret power then. There we go, it's paralyzed finally. Yeah, because I knew it has the move recover as well. So this is like almost freaking like a gym battle fight. Super annoying. Because it can heal itself. It's taking so long to take it out. I'm looking and you know, bullet seeds got hit more than twice. That just can't happen, so. I think we're better off using Bolt C though because two hits basically did the same thing as Secret Power did. Oh my gosh. That's all that didn't need to happen. Manetric just hurting itself in confusion. <sighs> this is gonna be irritating. I need Bolt C to hit it like five times. And for it to be fully paralyzed, basically. Otherwise, it's just going to keep using more cover. Yep. Oh, brother. Yeah, just think about this whole situation. Just alone, the move Water Pulse, or it could confuse me, and it using recover. Because we didn't. Do we see any other moves so far? It's like it's got two other moves, doesn't it? Well, wonderful. Alright. What do I gonna go with here? Um Jeez, just go with Marsh Tomp then, I guess. Lair on if I I don't know, let's see here. Maybe uh Hmm. I think a mud shot maybe do more damage than secret power. Dang it. We needed it to be fully paralyzed there. <sighs> okay. Let's see. <clears throat> Just gonna have to keep slapping it. I wonder if I. St oh my gosh, I probably deposited that revive. You know what? I should probably not do that anymore. Because I revived Manectric, and that's it. I could easily win this now. This is really frustrating. Aww. Dang it. Oh boy, I feel like I'm in a very bad situation here. Let me just see quickly. Oh, I do have a revive. Alright, good. I'm just gonna still stick with what I got here, but um, I think if it comes down to where I'm left with... Wait, what? Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Well, you know what? That's fine, because if we keep lowering its speed... Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? I think it's time that I'm just going to use the revive. Just, like, forget this. Doesn't look like anyone's going to have any chance of taking it out, other than the Manetric. But dang it, it got freaking... It's not paralyzed anymore. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And I think we're going to want to fully heal it, too, totally. Oh shoot, let's hope it doesn't faint here. Okay. So... Give it a... 
super potion. Is that enough? It is. We actually have a second revive, so... Yep, we're gonna send out Manetric here. And you know what? I think I might want to have a new spark. Let me see. So, so we can try to see if we get paralyzed again. I don't know, I should probably use Thunderbolt instead. Ah, dang it. Well, no, it didn't matter, because if you use Thunderbolt now... Ah, look at that, it's sense I was going to give it some big damage there. But I think we are, as long as we don't freaking get confused again with the Water Pulse. That's basically it, man. If I didn't have anything like Electric type, Manetric here... I probably would not have won this fight. But alright, there we go. It used that. Totally cool. So now I'll just give it a Thunderbolt. Man, this fight took forever though. It's like, jeez. Just imagine we're actually going to see that on the last gym battle. Not looking forward to that, but... We'll be prepared. Okay, well then, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'll fight this ninja boy here. Let's have Laron out for it, though. So I always got to feel like, oh, we might get that there, too. Um, it's got to be so far the most irritating and probably toughest uh, gym trainer battle. Oh gosh, see that have been good for Marsh Tomp here. You know, it's raining, Water Gun would easily take us out. We'll see though. Do you want Laron to keep getting experience? As well as Verbrava, so... Nah, if it's a Ninjask. Actually, you know what? I don't even know if it evolves at level 45. Maybe I'm mistaking. It might be only 42. Should check that for uh, Vibrava. Because 45 seems very late. Like, I think I'm going to look that up right now, actually. Alright, coughing. One thing that I'm very grateful for. You know, this past school year that's come to a close. Crazy indeed, all because of COVID. Um, but the one thing that, it, you know, because I was staying home throughout the year, I never once got a cold. And that usually happens in the middle of the school year during this, you know, December-ish. You know, when I leave the house and the weather is freezing, it's just like, I don't know why, but I always feel like I get it. Because we're at home because basically we didn't even go back to campus until like March around that time and you know by the time March came the weather was already pretty you know much better never once was I like shivering there were a couple days actually it was pretty cold but that's because it was windy but I didn't need to uh, you know like I think I had a sweatshirt but it was not like I could have probably felt I could have gone the day without it So why am I saying that? It's because, you know, coughing, it's just like, you know, coughing, usually when I get a cold, it's like, I hate it, hate it, hate it when I'm like just coughing just over and over and over again. And just imagine trying to teach when you're coughing so much. You know, I'm one that doesn't like to call in sick, it's just like, I only call in sick if it's just like, yeah, my energy is super low, like I can't even feel myself, but if all I'm doing is coughing, that's nothing, you know, I gotta still go to work there, but it's still not fun, because it's like, you know, when you keep talking, irritation goes to your throat, um, but, you know, you gotta talk if you're a teacher, so, anyways, yeah, we got three at level 35, and yeah, shift and manetric again, kind of reserve them for the water trainers, it's time to, you know, if we had a Swampert, the evolved form of Marsh Tomp, 
things probably would have been better there. Um, you know, on that last that one fight, Militech though, man. Okay, so let's continue here. I believe there's another Kecleon. I'm not gonna fight it though. So yeah, there's this invisible zinc. Make sure you get that. Oh snap, okay, there's a trainer there. I think she's got grass type, so let's uh let me go ahead and use Brava. Although I don't even know what she has. Uh I'm thinking if there's like one with that has that bra loom. Oh no, never mind. Completely different group. The Brellum being a grass and flying type. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and see here. I also gotta give it an item, so I think it will be the best item to give for Brava. And yeah, speaking of which, I already forgot what I was trying to do here, but I wanna see. Maybe it is level 42, I mean. Let's uh, see here, do I want to keep using Varava? Yeah, why not? It's not going to be that many grass types in this area. At least I don't think there will be. I don't even know how long, I'm going to have to check back and see how freaking long that one fight took. But I'm like, geez, we already have 42 minutes. I didn't even do that much. I mean, I didn't really go anywhere. Oh, that's right. I think Lombre's ability, its speed increases when it's raining. Oh, okay, whatever. I'm trying to look here. Uh, let's see, here we go, Vibrava. Wait, what the? Ah, okay, it does evolve at level. 45. Unfortunately. Well, let's keep rolling with it then. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I know these trainers, they always use the fake out move. So, pff, you pile it up, it's so irritating. But whatever, I'll just use a healing item afterwards. Wait a second though, I'm trying to think here that... I wonder, because there's going to be another trainer and probably have the same Pokemon except... Instead of Lotad, it has... C-Dot. But we totally can see that Vibrava will level up there, so... That's probably what we're going to do now. So we have Grass types. So there's a Kecleon. You know what? Maybe I will fight it because then use Marsh Tomp, just give it a mud shot, and then afterwards use Water Gun. And that'll probably be enough to take it out. Alright, so if we remember C Dot's moves, I'll just not use Fly for this one. So there we go, the Breath of a Dragon. Basically, what to look at is uh, Varava's basically considered a dragonfly. Gosh, Pokemon Rangers with full stores. That even necessary? But yeah, I'm just wondering how does that work? Like the, the trap inch, what exactly is a trap inch? Alright, so these. Last two, once again, they're gonna just use Fake Out. There's just nothing you can do about it. Although, it turns out that if we use move like Quick Attack, you could still use Quick Attack. That would beat out the uh, Fake Out move. Alright, though. It's not taking heavy damage. It's just Rava doesn't have a lot of HP. I think it's Final Form, though has a solid amount of HP, so... 
just gotta pick and choose who we fight here. You know, totally have to go against grass types. There's, uh, you know. Because, you know, when I shut out Shifri, it's like, yeah, it's a grass type itself, but what moves does it really have? So that's a good thing to having the move fly now. And yeah, it's like their defenses aren't great, but the levels aren't that far apart, so it's a little encouraging, but oh well. Hmm. I'm kind of wondering, does Vaprofa need a lot of experience to level up, though? Alright, so let's see, we're gonna have Marsh Tomp. It, it's probably gonna run away, anyways. If it does, then oh well. Full restore Zigzag Goon. It's attacking, okay? So that means the only one that ran away is the one that was in front of the gym. It's kind of odd then. Why would that one have ran away? Probably just the middle of the city. Marsh Tomp inching closer and closer to leveling up. Alright. So I don't know how much water gun, you know, water moves increase by, but let's see if this is good enough. Yep. Oh wait, no, it's still alive. Oh my gosh. Again, I can't even tell. It's like it looks like from my view that it has no more health. But apparently it probably has just one HP left. Well shoot then, water gun. Well it's not strong enough. Alright. Might have to end this soon. Don't want to. Oh, shoot. Should go back on our bike here. Cause think about the long grass as if you your bike. Obviously, yeah, you can't bike through the long grass. Wait, was that? We just got a nugget? Oh, that's right. There's a couple more trainers here, too. It's going to be a very long time until we see our next gym leader point that out. Alright, the rain has disappeared. There's the next trainer. I don't know what he has. Ooh, Zigzagoon, what do you got this time? Oh, I did say I was going to do this, so there you go, the super potion I just found. Goes right to Vibrava. Let's see, Laron's HP situation also not Wait. Oh, that's what I was. I was getting things confused. Laron evolves at level 42. Yeah. But you know what? Let's just start with uh, Vibrava then. Because the way I see it, I already said what Minetric and Shifter were going to be doing. And you know, Swampert's in the group there. I mean, March Tomp, once it evolves, it will, uh,. Yeah. Alright, well, I think I'll just cut this a little bit short here. Six badges, 14 Pokedex. Okay, so, having said that, thank you guys all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. If you have any questions or comments of anything at all, then just put them in that comment section right below. And other than that, stay safe everyone, and I will see you all next time.